All right, I'm on with Mike Michalowicz. He is the author of four absolutely amazing books that are going to impact your life. I, could... I address one of the most challenging issues that most businesses have, a lack of resources. Either you lack money, you lack contacts, you lack a network, you can't find the employees. What I found is actually lack is your best tool, is your best advantage. You just need to know how to use. So the Toy Paper Entrepreneur, I explain how that adversity of not having, you can leverage to springboard from your competition. So you teach contractors and business owners in general how to start with absolutely no money whatsoever no money. and then to grow their business. But what they're learning while they're starting with no money is how to survive. But then you take it in the very next book, The Pumpkin Plan, and you go, hey, you know what? You grew, you started. It's time to stop surviving and it's time to start thriving. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And this, so the pumpkin plan was for readers of the Toy Paper Entrepreneur and said, all right, I'm, I'm in business now, but I really want to explode and growth. So I studied, of all things, pumpkin farmers and found that there's a small faction, I know you know who they are, those colossal pumpkin farmers that grow pumpkins as big as a car, and studied what they did. What's interesting is this, it's only a small shift or change from what you're doing now. I thought colossal growth required everything to change, and that's not true. It's a small 5% change. You have to fire bad clients. It's courageous, but bad clients, getting rid of them avails access and availability of new clients. You need to clone your best clients. Once you identify a client that's great, how do you get more of them? There's yep. certain steps, 5% of this change, that I all document in the pumpkin plan to grow colossally. The riches are in the niches. That's right. That it's is totally right. Plain and simple, Mike. When you really want to refine your profits, that's where you go to do it. You're going to find your market, you're going to refine your market, and then you're going to dominate your market. If you focus on building up your weaknesses, you will become mediocre at best. But when you focus on your strengths, you will dominate. And that's what the pumpkin plan talks about. And then this Profit First is the only book that actually gives you the system. It doesn't talk about creating a system, Mike. You actually have now trained instructor, yes. instructors on how to create a Profit First system. Yes, it is a step-by-step -step sequence. This, hands down, is my most popular book. And I've been very blessed. My other books are doing extremely well. But this book, I think, is the game changer. Maybe it's the most important book I'll write in my lifetime. Here's the idea. Most businesses run their business based upon what's called bank balance accounting. We look at our bank account, we log into our iPhone or something, we see what our bank balances are. We don't read the income statement, the cash flow statement, the balance sheet, we don't time in, we don't do KPIs. We know about those things, but to run your business every day and understand that is it, too difficult. So we revert to looking at our bank balance. The problem is you don't really know what money is available for what purpose. So what I didn't profit first was I took the old envelope system, something my mom actually did. When she got income, she'd separate some for food, some for the apartment she rented, some for other categories. And then when she went food shopping, for example, she'd only work with the food envelope. This same opportunity exists for our business. What we do, and I explain it all in profit first, is you go into your bank account and you set multiple accounts with predetermined uses. Some money needs to be reserved for your taxes, right? Shouldn't your business pay your taxes? What about paying you as an owner of the business? We have to reserve your owner's pay, profit. We have to run the business, of course, taxes. So we set these different envelopes in your bank account, and now, before you access your money, you know what's pre-allocated to, and you work in a much more frugal, but also much more innovative manner. The businesses that take their profit first, and then run their business off the remainder, inevitably are far more profitable than any other type of company. I actually have a profit first uh, bank account set up, Mike, after Boom. reading your book. Surge, tell me about Surge, your latest and greatest work. Yeah, so it's just right now being released. Surge, I studied the phenomena of being in the right place at the right time. You know, one of my readers of my past books approached me and said, I love all these philosophies, but man, if I can just be in the right place at the right time, I'm a lottery winner, I'll explode. How do you do that in business? Well, that, that question intrigued me for years, and I've been studying for years, and I found the formula. Now, there is no perfect solution. I can't guarantee you're going to be the next lottery winner, but I can guarantee you can improve the odds significantly. Now, of course, this isn't playing the lottery. This is building a business in the right place at the right time. Surge is an acronym. It's the five steps you need to take to put yourself in a position for explosive growth. S, separate, pick a niche community. U, unify with what that community's need is. 
our rally cry, have a message that's consistent with that community wants so they can enable and market for you. G, gather knowledge as you cater to that market and get critical feedback so you can improve your offering. And then E is expand. Once you have those first four steps mastered, you can now expand explosively. But the interesting thing is expansion can take two paths. You can be bigger, but bigger isn't necessarily better. You can take that path if it suits your objectives or you can expand in your niche and dive deeper. Sometimes there's more wealth there. It's all explained in search. Yes, Mike, we, we had, and I want to encourage people to go to the podcast. We just got done recording a show where we yeah. cover this in detail. Absolutely phenomenal show, Mike. I want to thank you for being a guest on. Thank you, Stan. People that are going to go there, they should also go check out your website and check out his podcast, The Profit First Podcast. Mike interviews amazing people. But he also, he also gets small doses of mic every show, and this guy is brilliant. And speaks quickly, too, so it's a lot of information <laughs> packed in one minute. Thanks for watching. God bless. Love you guys. Love you guys.